Hey everybody, this is Doug. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about validating your global page load rule in launch. So here we are in launch, we have a global page load rule here, a default page load rule. Click into that. And we can see that we're actually triggering this at the bottom of the page on DOM ready. It's running on every page, there's no conditions. We are setting some variables and then we are sending the beacon. Now let's take a look at the variables we're setting real quick. So you'll see that we're setting page name into evar1, site section into evar2. We're setting a page load event, which is event one, again, every page. And then in addition to evar1 and evar2 being page name and site section, we're actually setting the ones that are very typical for that, which is page name in the page name and site section in the channel variable. So these are some normal things there, but again, we wanted to put them in those evars as well. And that's really all we've done. Page name and channel, a couple of evars, and that event. So if we go back to our page and we've embedded the launch script onto that page for the development environment, then when we run this page, we're going to get a hit. Now, how can we tell? There's a number of ways. You can use the JavaScript console to see the hit. And the way that is preferred is to use this Experience Cloud debugger. So you can get that from the Chrome store. And we have another video to show you about that. So hopefully you've seen that and installed the Chrome debugger uh, for the Experience Cloud. And I will click on that and open that. And that will immediately run on that page. And you can actually see a screenshot of it right there. And if I click into analytics, we can see we have one hit. And it's for this report suite, TMD Geo Clothiers Dev. And that is the report suite that we've set up in the analytics extension configuration. We simply expand that. And let's make it a little easier to see. In fact, I'm gonna push it over to the right side here. Let's look at this one on the left. And you'll see that that hit came through and we have the home page as the page name and evar1, right? Okay, yeah, good. We have event one, but we don't have evar2 and we don't have the channel. Well, that's because we're actually not setting it. If we look at the source of this page that I ran there, we're setting the page name, we're not setting the site section. So there's nothing being populated into that data element in launch and therefore it's not coming through. So if we simply go to another page and I click on the women's section, you'll see we get another hit and that comes through and there's the women's page and we can see that that's the page name. So that'll be an evar1, we can still see evar1 right there. And then now we do get the channel, which is women's section, and we get evar2 women's section again. So if we look at the source of that page, we can indeed see the page name, women's page, coming through on page name and evar1. We can see site section, women's section, coming through on evar2 and the channel right there. And once again, we should be getting that event. Yep, event one right down there on the events. And we can actually click through any of those pages, let's go to activewear. We can even click on this and we'll get that hit. There's activewear and we click on one of the products and we get that hit and there's the product page. And so we can see that our default page rule is indeed working and populating those variables that we set up. Now in other videos, we're gonna show how to set up some other rules so that we can do things like trigger an add to cart or trigger a checkout or those kinds of things or a search. But again, our default page rule seems to be working great. And that is how you can validate that is to use the Experience Cloud debugger and just click through and look at those hits. Good luck.